I heard a story that a person uses lunch meat in their butt cheeks before auditions because it makes them feel like they have a secret from the casting director and the producer and yeah, they have a one up on everybody. Until it stinks. Or it drips down the pant leg. <laughs> Hey everybody, Nikki Novak here at the Young Hollywood Studios with Max Adler. Max, how are you? I am awesome. I'm glad to be here. You look really cute. I like that jacket. Thank you very much. You, you look like cute girls for Oh, thanks. And then you gave me the awesome hat to match, which yes. is even better. You're a little different from your character. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's why it's so fun to play. That's I'm why acting is important, right? Uh, that's very true. Yeah, thank you. But were you ever like that? Were you ever a nasty guy? Or Never, never. Sure. I used to, I, <laughs> you don't believe me? I got bullied, like, in fifth grade, maybe. Me for like I was like a new kid at school and, uh, and I was I, I was in the receiving end and then I got big <laughs> and then, and then, you then you were no one does it. <laughs> yeah uh, and then yeah I've been I was like show choir kid student government like you know and I'd nobody never... picked on you for doing that Heck no you were no. too tall and big too they didn't want to mess at my <laughs> no one messes uh, at, at well at the high school I went to in Arizona it was like kind of cool to do the choir drama thing and oh, um, was. and it was yeah it was like no one looked down on you for like it. that in my school. So this season, you've had some pretty major stuff go on with your character. You've been dealing with coming out with being gay, which you haven't quite come out yet. No. But I saw the last episode, the prom episode, you cried. Yep. How is that when you're, you know, when you have to cry on cue, is that hard? It's almost like if you think about it and you try to make yourself cry, it gets harder. I feel like if you just kind of let it go and just so the be clenching, in the moment. The clenching. I had and an the, acting uh, coach once tell me if you clench, this is really gross, but if you clench your butt cheeks, <laughs> you can actually start crying. And it does not work, trust uh, me. Oh, maybe it did though. Have you seen the problem? I got really, <laughs> firm, really firm butt. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I heard a story that a person uses lunch meat in their butt cheeks before auditions because it makes them feel like they have a secret from the casting director and the producer and yeah, they have a one up on everybody. It just stink. <laughs> it, or it drips down the pant leg. Yeah, then you're really and in trouble. And the secret is out. <laughs> it's not a good secret not a good to secret. reveal. I don't think that's going to fuck any roles. No. I'm guessing you're not going to come out this season. Um, I mean, that could be a safe, safe bet. You, what you pretty much what you saw at the prom episode, yeah. I think is is what people are going to get. Um, I think that there's still a lot of work for you know Karofsky to do on himself and accepting himself and figuring out where he stands. And you know, he's so confused and tortured that he's got a lot of uh, of soul searching to do. So. I think there's just a lot of room for that storyline, you know, and I think if they if they tried to just wrap it up in a neat little bow so quickly, I don't think it would have served the purpose. And it's representing so many people that right. I feel like it would have kind of cut them short. So was it your acting that got you the job or the slushing skills? Oh, the slushing skills. For sure. How do you go? <laughs> no, do you go um, sidearm or do you go like overhand? Oh, I do, I do like <laughs> a whole like twist. Like, I, I got like oh, the, really? the whole flick of the wrist. Oh my gosh, there's a whole strategy So if I ever slushy anybody, that's the way to do it? I'll teach you. They have, they have like a mannequin for us in the back lot of Paramount that adjusts to the height of the actor we're slushing and they'll bring they'll bring me in like a half hour before call time just to practice on this mannequin over and over and over and over again so that way I'm like loosened up and ready to Are rock. You I the, swear. So the wrist is loose. The there wrist is go. loose, the arm is loose. I got the got a good grip on you the I mean cup. they don't have real people you can't practice slushing on real people that would be <laughs> They kind of fun. do, but I don't know. For whatever reason they prefer a mannequin. I don't know. You have really good eyebrows, by the way. Thank you. Thank you, you very much. You work on those, or is that natural? That's all natural. Do you I don't know, know how much people pay for eyebrows like yours? I've heard rumors. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I've gotten that my whole life. I mean, middle school, really? high school. Really? So I'm have not said the first. Like, You're not, but I appreciate it. It means a lot coming from you. So, what are you doing for the summer? Summer a lot. Well, I'm shooting a movie right now in Michigan, oh, so cool. I'm here. Flew in to interview with you. Oh, and, you did? Uh, and now I'm gonna pop did out. Did you fly in the private <laughs> jet? <laughs> no, 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 not yet. It's only a matter of time. No, of know. course, yeah. Um, I love know. how you say that with total confidence. A private jet? Yeah, that it's like, it's happen. in the future, it's there, it's coming. I believe it will. Why Good. not put it out there? Absolutely, You Good know, philosophy. I dreamed about working on a Ryan Murphy show. Did and you then, really? Uh, and then that luckily came to fruition, so. Yeah. I had done, well, I had done a bunch of like, uh, you know, guest spots on shows and like, an indie film and commercials, but what kind of commercials? Um, Anything really embarrassing <sighs> that we can KFC. maybe look up? And, but you did KFC. I did KFC. Did you uh, do the bite and smile? That heck yeah! No, they had like a guy with a bucket that would be there so you can like spit did out the sandwich after every take. Because this thing was that whole deal where it was like chicken patty, chicken patty, tons of bacon and cheese in the middle. Yummy. So you, yeah, delish, but not after like 50 takes. Thank you so much you for coming it. in. Can uh, I have a hug? Yeah, of course. Come here. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was fun.